Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where today I'm going to do a real quick part 9 to my let's play of Are You Smarter Than a 5th Grader for Nintendo Switch. I unfortunately have not got that much time to actually play anything when it comes to this game. Which is actually very freaking annoying because I'm going to freaking head down pretty much immediately to get done with this. I might have time for like two or three games and I may have to quit. Whether I do good or not. We'll have to find out. Let's play for a few rounds. We're always a class act here. Welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Hello! So, how many are we today? Alright, there's no music. I can just flip and have this up. Let's play. Now, just pick yourself a nice avatar. Let's do it. You look great. I hope you're ready for a pop quiz. It's Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I'm Claudia, one of your two hosts for the show. Let me show you how the game works. I'm out of play. We're going to ask you 11 questions in increasing difficulty, but we'll skip the instructions. It's time for first grade. How lovely to have you today. Every question here is worth 100 points. Yes! Ah, and helping you out for this grade is... Jaden! Oh! Hey, Jaden. I'm Jaden. I've got all the earth science and physical science facts. All right. Stellar gamer, please pick one of these subjects. Now it's earth science, measurements, astronomy, reading. What's the earth science bracket? This earth question means the world to be. True or false? Deserts are known for dense vegetation and abundant rainfall. That's false, because they're known for not having much rainfall it's at night. Stellar Gamer, which is the right answer? I said that backwards. I'm going to go with false. It's now locked in. Ah. And the right answer is... False. There we go. You're yeah. right. You get 100 points. So, Jaden, thank you for attending. Can you tell us a fact on your favorite subject? Scientists have known the facts regarding climate change since the 1980s. Great fact! Let's check out the next question. Stellar Gamer, let's take a look at the subjects. You have spelling, vocabulary, life science, math. What's the spelling? Bring out your honey for this next spelling question. What is the only letter that repeats in the following word, which is an antonym for outside? Inside. Inside. Uh, inside. What's the only N word? D. I. I am. Stellar gamer. Which is the answer? I am. I N S I D E. Wouldn't it be I? We got your answer. And the answer is I. Too yeah. easy. You get 100 points. But you've had enough of me. Go for it, Teddy. Hey, I'm Teddy, your other host for the show. It's time for us to go to the second grade. This time, each question is worth 150 points. It's time to say bye to our old classmate and hi to the new one. You can do it! I'm gonna try, but I suck at this game, so yeah. probably not. You'll get help from your classmate. Yay! Yay! Almost I all 
Jeonun Eva Yeo. I'm best at foreign languages and social studies. Oh dear. Stellar Gamer. Here are the choices for this question. I don't know. There is social studies, math, astronomy, life science. I am doing math. I'll bet my bottom dollar on this money question. Oh no, maybe I regret this decision instantly. Ted pays for a one dollar and twenty-six cent ruler with a five dollar bill. How much does he get back? Two dollars and seventy-four cents. Three dollars and twenty-six cents. Three dollars and seventy-four cents. Oh. Stellar gamer. What's the right answer? Let's see. Five minus five dollar five point zero zero minus Oh wouldn't it be three seventy four? It's not the it's not three twenty six. Oh frick. Four dollars would be up to thirty, then add seventy more. So it's definitely one of these two. Don't worry. Take as long as you need. I'd say that third one, three hours seventy four cents. Your answer is locked. It's either that one. Oh. It's either that one. Or the so the correct answer is. It's either three or two seventy. Three dollars and seventy four cents. Great work! You get one hundred and fifty points. So Ava, thanks for coming to class. Can you give everyone a fact about yourself? I was born in Abidjan in Cote d'Ivoire, or Ivory Coast. What a good fact! We gotta check the next question. <laughs> Stellar gamer, pick yourself a good subject, and it's social studies, measurements, astronomy, earth science. I'm doing measurements. Let's see how you size up in a measurements question. Sam slid down into a 33-foot deep pit. How far is that in yards? I would not know. Stellar gamer, choose us an answer. I don't know. You know what? I want to just deal with what's past the class right now. And we've got your answer. Yeah. You've chosen a cheat. Ooh. Specifically, you've chosen to ask the class. Let's see what our class thinks the right answer is. Yeah. I'm not uh, good at this. Uh, I shouldn't have can everyone please give their answer? It's gonna mess up. It's this answer. Oh, it didn't mess it up. It must be this. It's this one. It must be this. It's this one. I'm an idiot, Dan, because that's <gasps> yes. the only ones that can. Yay. The only, that's the only answer I gave me. So, stellar gamer, pick the correct one. <laughs> it's about to be so. Oh no, there it goes. So, the right answer is eleven yards. That means you get 150 points. Well, that's a complete garbage fest. Let's see how the points look. Good job. You got them all right. But you've had enough of me. Go for it, Claudia. Back to me. Let's keep going. Welcome to third grade. Every question is now worth 200 points. We'll leave our old classmate for now and say hi to a new one. Bye for now. Bye. Woo! Yeah! Ah! Your classmate for this grade will be... Haley. Hi! I was say it. <laughs> Woo! Yay! I don't yes. know her too, I don't want. Ah! Hey! My name is Kai. My favorite subjects are world geography and animal science. 
I wish I had any more science. Stellar gamer, go and pick one of these subjects. We have physical science, foreign language, vocabulary, reading. No thesaurus is allowed in this vocabulary question. True or false? Flown is the past participle of fly. Participle? What is a participle? Stellar gamer, it's your turn to answer. I flown to Japan. Something like gonna be true. We got the answer. Yeah. The real answer is actually true. Good work. You get two hundred points. So, Kai, thanks so much for being here. Can you tell us a nice fact about yourself? I occasionally help out on my uncle's farm. A good fact. It's time for the next question. Stellar gamer, pick yourself a good subject. All these are crap. They are physical science, foreign language, life science, social studies. They don't have the ones you like, so... Take a trip to Tiny with an atoms and molecules question. If an item is saturated, it is overloaded with what state of matter? Solid. Liquid. Saturated. Gas. Oh, no. Stellar gamer, choose your answer. So, Kai, how does it sound? Seems straightforward. Got it. Oh, great. Saturated. Wouldn't it be liquid? Oh my gosh, I'm going to get this wrong. Here's the answer. I'm going to get, get this wrong. Well, the correct answer is... I'm a freaking idiot, so that's wrong. Liquid. Well yeah. done. You get 200 points. Wow. I'm actually in the fourth grade and I only had to use one cheat so far. But it's time we swap hosts. It's yours now, Teddy. Very exciting. Let's step it up and go to the fourth grade. Every question here is worth 250 points. Let's say hi to a new classmate and bye to our old one. Bye, Kai. Peace out. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes! Ah! Yay! And giving you a hand now will be... Isa. with any vocabulary and grammar questions. Stellar Gamer, take a look at these subjects. Uh, don't have any. You've got foreign language, reading, astronomy, social studies. Oh no. Talk about VIP with this important people question. Who was the first president of the Planetary Society and was a pioneer of exobiology or the study of life on other planets? I would not know. Carl Sagan, Clyde Tombaugh, George Garneau. I would not know. Stellar Gamer, pick the right answer. I don't know. Let's go to copy. I'm doing And it is locked in. Actually, yay! I should You're using a cheat. Oh. Specifically, you've picked a copy directly from your classmate. Let's see if they've got it right. So, Isaac, what is your answer? I choose the last answer. The last answer. That's George Garno. It's locked in. We'll see if the answer got you the points. The correct answer is. Carl Sagan. We were both wrong. Sorry, but you've got the wrong answer. So my class was wrong on that one too then. Wow. Unfortunately, you are not smarter than a fifth grader, but we'd love to see you here later. 
It's time to check out the final scores. You did great, but there's room for improvement. Okay. Let's see how many points you've just earned. Eight times two, no, 2.5. And that means the end of the show. We hope you had some fun. Thanks again for joining us on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I'll try one more time. I'll try one Let's see what we can teach you here. It's Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Welcome to first grade. How lovely to have you here. Every question here is worth 100 points. Yay! Yes. And helping you out for now is... Halima! Hey! Yes! I think, we, I think she's one of the kids we don't have all the things for either. And my favorite subjects are health and life science. Well, life science, yeah, we don't have health, I don't think. Stellar Gamer. Go ahead and pick a subject. So, it's life science, reading, social studies, Earth science. <gasps> no weeds in the garden of this class question. True or false? The Venus flytrap captures and consumes insects. Is that, is that supposed to be a trick question or is that it's supposed to be flies? Maybe a stellar gamer. It's your chance to answer. Is this is a trick question because I think it's true. I know what Venus flytrap traps flies. The answer yeah. is in. And the correct answer is... It's going to always say it's going to be a trick, isn't it? True. Oh, no. You got this. You get 100 points. So, Halima, thanks for coming today. Why don't you give us a nice fact about yourself? I have a collection of plushies in the shape of microbes. Good fact. Let's check the next question. Huh, I think it's fast. I've never heard of you. Stellar Gamer. Here is your choice of subjects. Oh my gosh. It's either reading, social studies, earth science, life science. I'm going life science again, but don't backfire. Put your hands deep in the dirt in this class question. I'm trying to break this one of more easy subjects. True or false? Pollen is part of a plant's reproductive system. Oh my gosh, in our 50 50. Stellar Gamer, please pick an answer. I would say false, but I don't really know. I'm going false. And the answer is in. Yay! This is a first grade. The right answer is... This is a first grade question I'm about to lose. True. Sorry, oh. but that is not the right answer. Unfortunately... Oh. Not smarter than a fifth grader, but we'd love to have you again really soon. Let's see what that did to the final scores. We hope you've had a lot of fun and learned a lot. I ain't. I got, didn't get past the first grade. Time to add up the points you've earned. I didn't get past the first grade on that question. Are you serious? And we'll have to say goodbye for now. See you soon! Thank you for joining us on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I hope you're ready for the pop quiz! It's Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It's time for first grade. How nice to have you here. Every question here is worth 100 points. Woohoo! And your classmate this grade will be... Ava! Ah! Ah! Yay! <gasps> Salam Esmeman Eva asked. My favorite classes are foreign languages and social studies. Stellar Gamer. Here are your choices for this question. It's between reading, social studies, earth science, Spelling. I'm going with spelling. That's the one. Get ready to S P E L L with this next question. Aren't 
is a contraction of what two words? Are not. Are so. Nope. Are not. Yep. Are never again. Are not. Stellar Gamer. Choose the right answer. We've got it now. Yeah! Well, the answer is... Are not. Good yeah. job! You get 100 points. So, Ava, thank you for joining us. Can you tell everyone a nice fact about yourself? When I grow up, I want to be an influencer and make a better world. Hmm. An excellent fact. We gotta go to the next question. Stellar Gamer, go ahead and pick a nice subject. It is reading, social studies, earth science, math. Math. Be sure to make it count for this counting question. And an expression that equals 14. If one of the add-ends is 8, what is the value of the other add-end? 14, so 8. 6. 7. I'm going to count. 14. I don't want me 14 because 14 plus 8 Stellar would equal Stellar Gamer, please pick your answer. 14, if one of the add-ends is 8, what is the other? Or what's the other? So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, it'd be 6. And it is locked in. Yeah! The actual answer is... 6. Whoa. You're correct! You get 100 points. But it's time we swap hosts. Say hello, Claudia. Hi, I'm Claudia, your other host for the show. I hope you're ready for second grade. This time, each question is worth 150 points. Let's say hello to your new classmate and bye to the old one. Good luck. Thanks, Ava. Yay! Ah. And you'll get a helping hand from... <laughs> Jaden! Ooh! Here we go again, Jaden! Yeah. Ah. I'm Jaden! I'm pretty good at earth science and physical science. Stellar Gamer, here's your subject for this question. We've got reading, social studies, earth science, measurements. I did, but you'll be a convert here in the measurement question. If Sarah grows a quarter of a foot over summer vacation, how many inches did she gain? That would point twenty-five, right? Three. Oh no. Four. Oh. Six. Oh no. Stellar gamer, give us your answer. A quarter of a foot. I think it'd be three or four. It's three or four. Thanks, six. We've got it now. It's three. And the actual answer is three. Three. Good oh. try. That's not the right answer. Why do I always go and say the right answer after I can buzz it in? Unfortunately, oh. you are not smarter than a fifth grader. But we'd love to give you another chance. Let's take a look at the final scores. I hope you've learned a lot and had a lot of fun. Let's add those points to your permanent record. And that's the end of the show, folks. School's out. Thanks again for joining us on... Are you smarter than a fifth grader? No, I'm not. And every time I play this game, I make myself feel stupider and stupider. Let's see what we can teach you here. It's, are you smarter than a fifth grader? 
It's time for first grade. It's so nice to have you here. Every question here is worth 100 points. Yeah! Yay! And Yay! Woo! Yeah! Ah! Oh. Hey, it's e Hey, Isaac. Stellar gamer. Let's see what subjects there are. Pick between reading, social studies, earth science, vocabulary. <gasps> Put away your dictionary for a vocabulary question. True or false? If Tom threw a curveball, then by definition it traveled in a perfectly straight line. No. Curve me it curved. Very false. Stellar gamer. Pick out your answer. False. And the answer is in. Yeah. And that makes the answer false. False. Nice Yay. work. You get 100 points. So, Isaac, thank you for attending today. Why don't you tell us a good fact about yourself? My favorite food is my mom's tidy. It's a rice dish. Cool to know. Oh. Let us go to the next question. I've never even heard of that, so I don't know. Stellar gamer. Pick the subjects you're good at. Spelling. There are reading, social studies, earth science, spelling. Be sure to use it in a sentence for this spelling question. How many vowels are in the following word for a type of bird? Pigeon. 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 One. P-I. Three. Four. A-E-I-O-U. P-I. Stellar. Gamer. What's your answer? P-I. I think it's P-I. So that's one. G. E. O N. So it'd be three. If I'm, if I'm spelling pigeon right, three would be the correct answer. Here's the answer. Ah! And the real answer is... I don't think there's four, but... Three. Thank you. You got this. You get 100 points. But it's time we swap hosts. Say hello, Teddy. Hi, I'm Teddy, your other host for the show. It's time for questions from second grade. This time, each question is worth 150 points. Let's say bye to your old classmate and meet a new one. See you later. See you later. Woo! Ah! I was gonna see you later for and alligator your instinctively. Your for this grade is. <laughs> Guten Tag, ich heiße Eva. I love to practice my foreign languages and social studies. You can tell. Stellar gamer. It's time to pick yourself a subject. Oh no. Is it reading, social studies, earth science, astronomy? This is second grade social studies. You think I'm going to struggle on this? Probably. Probably. We'll do our civic duty in the social studies question. Oh no, 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 no. Though the profession started to diminish in the 20th century, what job title was given to the person who made wheels out of wood? I don't know. Wheel right. Wheel wrong. Wheel close. Stellar gamer. Choose an answer. I've never heard of any of these, so I would say wheel right. Your answer is in. Yeah. Well, the actual answer is. I'm crossing my fingers. Wheel right. Whoa. That means you get 150 points. So, Ava, thanks for being here today. Why don't you give us a fact about yourself? I am an ebook reader, so I can read a lot while traveling. Thank you. Let's go to the next question. Oh no, I just said thank you and nothing else. Stellar Gamer. Let's see what subjects we have. Math. Pick between 
earth science, social studies, astronomy, math. Sorry, Ava, but I need to try to do something much decent. Out. I'm gonna go at social studies. Our halftime show is all fractions and percents. Maybe I should have went on social studies. What is three tenths written as a percentage? Would it be thirty percent? Stellar gamer, pick an answer for us. Wouldn't it be thirty percent? Because three out of ten would be like three tenths, right? And three out of ten, thirty, thirty. I'm gonna say thirty. We got the answer. Yeah. Let's hope I'm not a complete. Well, the right answer is thirty percent. Good. Good work. You get 150 points. Never use a cheat yet either. It's time to check those points. Great job. No wrong answers so far. But it's time we swap hosts. It's yours now, Claudia. It's my turn. To the next one. Welcome to third grade. Every question is now worth 200 points. It's time to say bye to our old classmates and hi to a new one. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yay. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. So your classmate for the grade is Eli. Oh. Ah. Yay. Are you the science man? I just know. I'm Eli. And I'm really good at chemistry and measurement questions. Kind of. He's good chemistry. Stellar gamer. Let's pick one of these subjects. Oh, these suck. There are foreign language, reading, earth science, social studies. This is going to be bad for me. I crave the next rocks and minerals question. Which of these biomes are geos mainly found in? Tundra. Rainforest. Desert. We know what geodes are. Stellar gamer. Do you have the answer? Probably not. Let me ask my classmate. So, Eli, how confident are we? It's a pretty easy one. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. This is going to be like a complete idiot, then. If it was me, I'd say it wouldn't be the desert. Problem is, I don't know what geodes are, so it's like, does that really count? And there ain't no save in this game like there is on the other one. Mm, I don't want to use Take it. Take it easy. It's just you and us today. Yeah, if I, if I remember what geodes were, I did say I'd get a phone cheat. Well, that's why I played this game, but would that count? Because. If I give it up on an easy question, that's going to be stupid, and I won't have it later on when I actually need it. But at the same time, if, it, if I was going with my gut, I'd say Tundra or Rainforest. But I don't know which one would be better. I'll read the question again. Which of these biomes are geodes mainly found in? Tundra, Rainforest, Desert. I'm going with my, I'm going with my first gut answer. But it's not going to be right. It's now locked in. <gasps> that means the answer is... Why don't you somehow be desert? Desert. Sorry, oh. but you chose the wrong answer. I don't know. I, do, I don't know. That's the one I would not have guessed if it was me. Unfortunately, you are not smarter than a fifth grader. But we'd love to give you another try. Let's take a last look at the final scores. We hope you've learned a lot and had some fun. Let's add those points into your progression. I'm going to try one more time in a minute. And it's time for the end of the show. Thanks for wow. joining us. Yeah. We'll see you again soon on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I'm going to try like one more time. I hope you're ready for a pop quiz. It's Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Now, if I ain't head down Welcome to this one. first grade. It's nice to see you today. 
Every question here is worth 100 points. Okay, we're gonna pull one while Yay. We're gonna and helping you for this grade is... Halima! Oh! Woo! <gasps> ah. Yeah! I'm Halima, and I'm very good with health and life science facts. Okay. Stellar Gamer, please pick a nice subject. All of these are It's between suck. reading, social studies, life science, astronomy. All of these already <laughs> suck. Get anthropomorphized in this next question. This is a first grade question. English is the official language of which of these countries? England? Australia? No. United States? Yes. Neither. Oh, is that a trick? Stellar Gamer, what's the answer? I mean, they speak English in Australia, but it's like their own Australian English. Is this a trick? If I go to United, I'm gonna go to United States. And we got your answer. Yay! So the answer is. Ain't English? Ain't England word actually? Neither. Sorry, that wasn't the correct answer. I literally got first grade question wrong. Oh wait. Unfortunately, you are not smarter than a fifth grader. Did I have it but right? We'd love to see you again in our class. You speak English in the United States. And we'll have to end the show for now. That's all for now. Thank you ah. for joining us on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Why is it giving me terrible ones, man? Let's see what we can teach you here. It's Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Welcome to first grade. How lovely to have you here. Every question here is worth 100 points. Yes! Yay! Yeah! So, your classmate for this grade is... Yes! Yay! Woo! Konnichiwa, Iwasan desu. I'm sorry I'm having to skip you. Stellar to... gamer. Let's look at your choice of subjects. It's giving me terrible ones. Is it... Reading. Life science. Astronomy, social studies. Yeah. Orient yourself with this landmarks question. What national monument in New York Harbor stands 151 feet tall? Statue of Liberty, maybe. Empire State Building. Uh. Statue of Liberty. There it is. Washington Monument. In New York, and I've been in Washington for some stellar gamer. What's the real answer? I'm saying the Statue of Liberty. Your answer is locked. Yeah. So the real answer is Statue of Liberty. Great hey. work. You get 100 points. Hey. So Ava. Thanks for joining us here. Can you tell us all a nice fact about yourself? I love to haggle whenever I buy stuff. Good to know. Let's move to the next question. Stellar Gamer, pick your favorite subject. Now it's reading, life science, astronomy, vocabulary. Do your English teacher proud in this next question. By definition, the word steed refers to which of the following animals? Cow. Goat. Horse. Horse. Oh crap. Steed. Stellar gamer. Which is the answer? I can be horse, but I'm probably I'm probably going. I've already embarrassed myself enough, so what's the one embarrass myself more? Shall we? We got your answer. <gasps> well, well the answer is. It's going to somehow be cow, isn't it? Horse. Oh no. Horse work. You get 100 points. But that's enough from me. Take it away, Teddy. Hi, I'm Teddy, your other host for the show. Thanks for joining us in the second grade. This time, each question is worth 150 points.
It's time to say bye to our old classmate and greet a new one. Take it easy. I'll try, but I'm a complete idiot. Whoa, I'm ah. to work. Your classmate for now will be... I'm still mad. I still have that stinking one true or false question poke. Jaden! Ah. I'm gonna punch myself in the nuts yeah. for that crap. Yes. Eggs, eggs. Ah. It's Jaden. I'm your guy for earth science and physical science. Well, at least you can help with it. Stellar gamer. Pick yourself a nice subject. Well, earth science is We've got reading, life science, astronomy, earth science. Yeah! Feels like summer with this bodies of water question. Oh, freak me. True or false? The abyssal zone is deeper in the ocean than the midnight zone. I have no clue. That sounds true, but that's from Stellar Gamer. Please pick your answer. I'm gonna go with true. And it is locked in. Ah. The right answer is what to be false. True. Oh, good job. You get 150 points. So, Jaden, thank you for being here with us. Why don't you tell us a fact about yourself? I want to be a climate scientist. While there's still a climate to science. A great fact. <sighs> Let's all go to the next question. Oh my. Stellar Gamer, choose the right subject for you. Measurement or math? You have astronomy, measurements, social studies, math. Get the power to solve this equation's question. 15 minus 6 plus 7 minus 10 equals... Is this going to be a trick? Do I need to do a please excuse my dear Aunt Sally? Stellar Gamer, pick the correct one. 15 minus 6 would be 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16... Mm, six? Is, or you're running these points to use my dear answer. Your answer is locked. Yeah! Well, the actual answer is six. Thank gosh. You're correct. You get 150 points. Let's take a look at the points. Good work. That's all correct so far. Good. That, that's enough for me. It's your turn, Claudia. Hey there. You're doing great. It's time for third grade. Every question is now worth 200 points. Let's say hi to your new classmate and bye to our old one. Take care. Thanks, Jaden. Woohoo! Yes! Yeah! Yay! Let's say hi to your new classmate. Haley! Hey! Huh? Yay! <gasps> yes! Hey, call me Haley. I'm really good at reading and spelling questions. Stellar Gamer, pick a good subject for the question. Oh, gosh. And it's foreign language. Reading, physical science, life science. I'm going to be terrible at all of these. Yes! I'm going to do her. Let's get iconic with this important people question. In the mid-1700s, who published a yearly periodical known as the Poor Richard's Almanac under the pseudonym Richard Saunders? I would not know. John Hancock. Benjamin Franklin. Alexander Hamilton. I've heard of all of those people. Stellar Gamer, pick an answer for us. Who published a yearly periodical known as the Poor Richard's Almanac under the um, pseudo saying Richard Sa Saunders? Mm. You know what? This might be a bad day to use right now, but I'll go and use my phone cheat. If it actually gives me the right freaking answer, no better. 
No one's keeping time, so take it easy. One phone chip's all I get. In the mid-1700s, who published a yearly periodical known as the Poor Richard's Almanac? According to History.com, from 1732 until 1758, Benjamin Franklin published Poor Richard's Almanac, which featured a collection of Franklin's thoughts and proverbs. In 1758, he collected the best advice into an essay titled The Way to Take Wealth. as long as you need. It's just you and us. Well, I, I would have been wrong because that's the one that it said. We got the answer. Yes. That's the only one. And the actual answer is. The only one I get. The only, that's the only phone she I get. Benjamin Franklin. Well yes. done. You get 200 points. That's the one I would never, never have guessed. So I'm glad I used a cheat. So, Haley, thank you for being here. Why don't you tell everyone a fact about yourself? Yes. Um, my favorite genre is science fiction. A very cool fact. It's now time for the next question. Stellar gamer, pick a subject you're good at. Oh my gosh. There is foreign language, physical science, reading, life science. I'm not good at any of this crap. Yes! No one's cooking the book on this literature question. In the Madeline series of books, what is the name of Madeline's teacher at boarding school? Oh no, we had this before. Miss Clavel. Miss Jacobs. Miss Actum. I don't know what Actum. Stellar gamer. Choose us an answer. I'm gonna get a new question. Here's the answer. Yes! You've locked in a cheat. Ooh! Specifically, you've picked to get a new question. You'll get a brand new question of the same type and category. But no more cheating. Good luck. True or false? Island of the Blue Dolphins by Scott O'Dell tells the story of a young girl left alone on a spaceship. That would be false, right? Because... Stellar Gamer, pick out your answer. How would a book be called Island of the Blue Dolphins be about a girl being looked on that? That'd be false. If that's true, I'd like to see what that book is. Well, the correct answer is... That's false, clearly. False. You're right. You get 200 points. And let's see what the answer for the first question was. It's... Miss Clavel. Miss Clavel. Oh. It doesn't exactly matter for points, but it's nice to know. Uh, I know we've had that question before. I couldn't remember what the answer was. I was thinking Miss Clavel. But should've... this is a two-host show. Take it away, Teddy. I should have went with my gut. If I did, I'd have gotten it right. Almost there. Let's challenge your brain in fourth grade. Every question here is worth 250 points. It's time to meet a new classmate and say bye to your old one. Bye. See you soon. Yes! Ah! Let's meet your new classmate. Well, see, very far in this last one, guys. I'll continue until we lose. Then once we lose, I'll quit. <gasps> yes! Yeah! Have we a tie yet? Yay! Hey, I'm Isaac. My favorite subjects are vocabulary and grammar. Stellar Gamer, let's find you a good question. It is foreign language, physical science, astronomy, life science. I'm not good at any of these. Look closely at this atoms and molecules question. True or false, a molecule of an element is smaller than an atom of the same element. Uh, Stellar Gamer, choose your answer. There's no save option in this game, like I wish there was. True or false, a molecule of an element is smaller than an atom. Uh, that's going to be false, but I'm going to go with true. And 
And we've got your answer. If I if it's false, Woo! and the answer is if it's false, I'm gonna be ticked. False. Atoms are smaller than molecules, and molecules are formed by at least two atoms. Good try, but it wasn't the right answer. I was scared if I used my copy cheat, I was gonna. Unfortunately, you are not smarter than a fifth grader, but we'd love to see you again in our class. It's time for us to see the final scores. You've done well, but you can do better next time. Time to put those points into your record. What's actually? You know what? And we'll have to end the show for now. That's all for oh. now. Thank you for joining us on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? You know what? I did say we ended off, but let's actually go into a real quick study session. Just a real quick one. Roll call! Everyone seated and ready? Thanks for attending the study session. Please pick yourself a nice avatar. Great choice. I hope you're ready for the pop quiz. It's Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? We're going to ask you 11 questions in increasing difficulty. But you'll get to pick the subject every time. You'll have a classmate to help you out and three cheats you can use during the game. You can either copy your classmate's answer See how the whole class would answer the question, or just discard this question and get a new question entirely. No cheating allowed on that new question, though. And for the last, sixth grade question, you'll be on your own. No cheats, no classmate. Let's see if you can prove that you really are smarter than a fifth grader. Let's go! Welcome to first grade! It's so nice to see you today. Lovely Every from question here is worth 100 points. Yeah! Let's so, let's greet your new classmate. Halima! Oh! Life science and health, right? Yeah. Or, 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 no. Ah, I'm Halima, and I'm really good in health and life science class. Stellar Gamer. Let's pick one for the next question. So, it's astronomy. Life science, measurements, spelling. I know what I'm asking about. Let's take a letter at a time with this spelling question. How many times does the letter N appear in the following word? Environment. Oh no. Environment. At least two. Two. Three. Four. And. Fire. Stellar Gamer, give us your answer. E N N V I E N V I R N. Environment. <clears throat> I can help with this question. Let's see how easy she thinks it is. So, Halima, could you help with this? This one is pretty easy. Oh my. Oh, that's embarrassing. This is I can't remember how to spell the word environment like a freaking idiot. E N. We know it appears at least two, but does it appear? I know it doesn't appear four, but does it appear two or three? Envire. There is no real timer, so take your time. I'm gonna go with my gut. But if this is wrong, we can take We've it. got it now. Yay! And the correct answer is. I wish we'd show on the board how you spell it. Three. Oh. Sorry, but you picked the wrong answer. Well, thank gosh, don't end in a study session. I want to be screwed. So, Halima, thanks for being here with us. Can you tell us all a fact about yourself? I like to dry flowers and hang them in my room. 
Excellent fact. Let's check the next question. Dry flowers and hang them in our room. Stellar gamer. Pick a subject for the next question. You've got astronomy, life science, measurements, social studies. Get your rulers out for the measurements question. If it is 15 degrees Fahrenheit outside, how many degrees below freezing is it? 17. 20. Wait. 23. Stellar Gamer. Pick the right answer. Oh my gosh. If it's 15 degrees Fahrenheit outside, how many degrees below freezing is it? Dude. I think 17 or 20. Cheat off me if you need to. Oh dear. I'm not using a cheat. And the answer is in. Yeah! Dude. And the right answer is... These are first right questions and I'm sucking. 17. Good oh. try, but that's the wrong answer. Good thing it doesn't scream over if you lose on this one. But this is a two-host show. Take it away, Claudia. Dude, that's first grade and I'm screwing it. Hey, I'm Claudia, your other host for the show. Let's go to questions from second grade. This time, each question is worth 150 points. It's time for a new classmate and to say bye to the old one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Mm. My name is Eli, and I like to study for chemistry and measurement questions. Stellar Gamer, choose a good subject for you. We have life science, astronomy, social studies, vocabulary. Get to a native speaker level with this vocabulary question. Jill wants to be a choreographer when she grows up. She will, by definition, be working in which of the following fields? Biology, foreign languages, dance. Choreographer. Stellar gamer. What's the answer? Choreographer. Oh no. Dude, all these are difficult. I'm looking at zero points. Choreographer. Dude, what do I do? I can help you if you want. I don't want to. <clears throat> I wish I didn't pick forward. We've anymore. got your answer. Woo! I have got. Two. So, the right answer is. We might get to see what she says if we get nothing right in this. Dance. Good try, but that's not the correct one. I have got zero. Please don't say it out loud what I've done so far. So, Eli, thank you for coming today. Why don't you tell us a nice fact about yourself? I want to get into materials engineering when I'm older. A very good fact. I'm it's now time for the next question. I am such a freaking idiot. Stellar gamer, please pick a good subject. It's either astronomy, social studies, measurements, earth science. Yeah! Do it for the grand in this measurements question. If Joe collects three pounds of candy during Halloween, how much is that in ounces? Oh my gosh! Stellar gamer, please pick an answer. Oh no! Three pounds. How many ounces are in pounds, though? Dude, I am such a freaking...
I'm doing it. You'll say the question again. If I'm already... It's now locked in. <gasps> well, the right answer is... I'm 48 ounces. I was wrong again. Good try, but that wasn't the right answer. Oh my gosh, I please do not say how bad I'm doing. It's time to look at the points. I hate myself. Not too many points, but there are more questions coming. Not too many, I've got- That's enough from me. It's your turn, Teddy. You know, I can't complain. I thought she was going to embarrass me and saying I have nothing. Hello again. Good work so far. It's time for third grade. I like Every question is now worth 200 points. I like we'll how he says good job so far, even though I've got zero. And this is going to get harder and harder. I don't Yay. know. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be helped in this grade by... Yeah. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because I'm not going to get you as it is. That's me. Cheat off me for earth science and physical science. Stellar Gamer. Let's see if there's a good subject. They are Foreign Language, Life Science, Astronomy, Social Studies. I'm gonna end up getting nothing. And this is a study. We all live in a society in the social studies. Can I at least get one right? Tagalog is the official language of what island nation? I have never heard that. Indonesia. Micronesia. The Philippines. Stellar Gamer. Do you have the answer? Tagalog. I have never heard of that. Your answer is in. Yeah! So, the correct answer is... I don't think it's Indonesia, but... The Philippines! Well, Good try, but you chose the wrong one. So, Jaden, thanks for joining us here. Can you tell us a fun fact you learned recently? Music is just wiggly air. When you see something vibrate, that's you seeing sound. An important fact. We gotta check the next question. Stellar Gamer. Here's your choice of subjects. What are these? Pick between foreign language, life science, astronomy, reading, Dude, give me something actually good. We're all under the sun. We're the solar system question. I have literally got no points, and this is a study session. True or false? Neptune is visible to the naked eye from Earth's surface. Stellar Gamer. What's the right answer? It's the first plant from the sun, so wouldn't that be false? Actually, if it and it is locked in. You can see as you can see it. That means well. the answer is. You can probably see it's a star. False. Oh, too easy. easy. Finally. You get two hundred points. Wow! I finally got something. But that's enough for me. Take it away, Claudia. Exciting! We're already halfway in the fourth grade. Every question here is worth 250 points. We'll say hi to a new classmate and bye to the old one. Take care! Woohoo! Take care! Yay! Yay! And your classmate for now will be... Yeah! Yay! Yeah! Hey, Isaac. Stellar game. Enjoy. Let's take a peek at the subjects. It's between foreign language. Life science, reading, physical science. Why do you not want to give me something? Else? Come on, give me freaking math again. A lot of forces are acting on us in this physics question. What was the ways? Or not? If Layla wants to experiment with surface tension, which of these would be the most applicable? Surface. Make a paper airplane. Blowing soap bubbles. Building a house of cards. Surface tension. Stellar gamer, what's the real answer? Surface, if Lila wants to experiment with surface tension, which of these would be the most applicable? I'm 
want to try that one. He's got it now. Yeah. The actual answer is. It definitely ain't the one I picked. Blowing soap bubbles. Yep. Good try. But that's not the right answer. So, Joaquin, thanks for attending today. Why don't you tell us a nice fact about yourself? I prefer to watch videos to research rather than reading books. Interesting fact. Let's go to the next question. I guess I'll have more to answer. Stella Gamer, get yourself a good question. Where's the freaking... So it's foreign language, earth science, astronomy, social studies. What about freaking math? Let's talk about our home for this earth question. Monsoons that bring heavy rainfall to India and Southeast Asia occur during spring and what other season? Stellar Gamer, what's your answer? Oh my gosh, that's different. Fall. We got the answer. Yay! The correct answer is summer. Know what that one is? Good. We yeah. got this. You get 250 points. Let's give the scoreboard another look. You haven't scored much, but there's a few more questions left. But it's time we swap hosts. It's yours now, Teddy. Look at the time. It's almost the end. Welcome to fifth grade. Every question is now worth 300 points. It's time to greet a new classmate and say bye to the old one. Bye for now. Bye. Yeah! Yay! So, let's greet your new classmate, Ava! Oh! Yep, she's the last classmate I can yeah. do it. Ah! Yay! Hola, soy Ava. My absolute favorite subjects are foreign languages and social studies. Stellar Gamer. Let's pick a subject for the question. There are foreign language, life science, reading, Spelling. We hope this spelling question won't spell any trouble. What is the second letter in the spelling of the following word defined as a device to assist memory? Mnemonic. Mnemonic. No. N. E. M. No. Stellar Gamer, it's your turn to answer. It wouldn't be in unless there's a silent mnemonic. I don't know. Is there a silent word I don't know about? Your answer is locked. Yeah! And that makes the answer... N. Sorry, but you chose the wrong answer. I don't know what the silent letter was. Mnemonic. Considering it would something like being the first one. So, Ava. Thanks for joining us. Can you give us a fun fact about your favorite subject? The Korean alphabet Hangul was made by King Sejong in 1443 to make reading easier. Great to know. Let's check out the next question. I'm going so bad. Stellar Gamer, it's time for you to pick a subject. And now this is even worse. You've got foreign language, life science, reading, astronomy, I don't know foreign languages. Won't need a translator to this foreign languages question. What first and last letters of the Greek alphabet have become synonymous in English with the beginning and end of something? Beta and Zeta. Alpha and Omega. Pi and Rho. What's that? Stellar Gamer. It's your chance to answer. 
would it be would it be beta and zeta or alpha and omega I'm gonna go with beta and zeta and the answer is in so the real answer is alpha and omega sorry but that was not the right answer I wanted to use some of my cheats but don't break me but that's enough for me it's your turn, Claudia. Oh this is it. We're in sixth grade. Only the final question left. There's only one question, but it's worth 500 points. We'll say goodbye to your classmate now, because it's all up to you. Take it easy. Oh, no. Stellar Gamer, choose one of these subjects. Why would you give us some easy? We have life science, Ring. foreign language, reading, astronomy. <laughs> Don't you space out, but we have a space question. It's the final question. You got it. Oh. Let's see if you're really smarter than a fifth grader. Which of these astronomical events is classified as an occultation? Solar eclipse. Rocket launch. Magnetic storm. Let me just see what I want to see if she actually says, "Are you smarter than a fifth grader?" Stellar you gamer, choose an answer. I don't think I use a cheat, but let me actually look. I just want to see. Can you repeat the question? Which of these astronomical events is classified as an occultation? occultation. Solar eclipse, rocket launch, magnetic storm. What is an occultation? Here's the definition of occupation. Oh god. Job or profession. What is an occultation? Here's the definition. Oh my of occupation, god. A job or profession. Dang it. O C C U L T A T I O N. I am going to see what this is. The, uh, when one object is ha hidden from the observer by another object that passes between them. So it would be a solar eclipse then. I want to see how much I get. Your answer is in. I the real answer is actually solar eclipse. Well done. You get 500 points. Are they, they're not going to say that. What in the, what in the world? Let's see what that did to the final scores. I hope you had a lot of fun and learned a lot. Time to add up all the points that were earned. So I know if we get to the number, I don't, I think we're a little bit off. You unlocked something new. It's time for a new subject. Geometry. Finally, we unlock geometry questions. Wow. Okay. And that means the end of the show. We hope you had fun. Thanks again for joining us on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I hope you're ready for a pop quiz. It's no. Are You Smarter Than a Fifth no. Grader? Pause. Don't get mur- uh, uh.
Well, I've never even heard of some of them. I've never heard of an occultate, occultation, or have you say the name. Well, I'm about to get in trouble because it is literally um 2.42 and I need to be in the bath. If, oh my gosh, I'm going to end off. I got to real quick end it off, guys. Bye.